Don't overthink things like this. Just throw it in there, jam it in there, cut it off. So if you're curious, what type of cut is that achieved? Way better than needed. Both sides get covered up with trim. This top side has some damage too. Um, I can put this on the top or the bottom. This all gets trimmed and scribed. Always measure a third time. I'm gonna go measure, make sure I have the exact cut. So some might be asking, is it necessary to wrap your receptacle? No, it's not. It's not necessary. But why do I do it? There's a company that I worked for for a long time did not do thing unless it was absolutely necessary. And what I mean by that, if it didn't make money, you couldn't do it. Uh, so, they had us wrap these. I've just been doing it for the last 25, 25 years? God, it's almost been 27 years I've been doing this. Actually, it's been more. <laughs> um, and actually, I'll give you a close-up here. You can see where an outlet has already shorted against this metal box once. So that's why you would do this. You fold them all up in there and push it back in. And there's no chance of anything grounding out against this tiny little electrical box. But bring it down close and show you what it looks like when the black touches the side of the metal box. So somewhere, sometime, right there is where you can see what the short looks like.
actually cut this a little big. I want to show you what how to change directions. Get this thing thing out. You use these to change the direction that you're installing the floor. Now this might be a little too big. I cut it cut it big on purpose because uh, I don't have much room to work with. Right. More get in there too. So do you send it or do you trim it shorter? I'm gonna trim it just a cut here. Still tight. <laughs> well, this one is going. Oh, maybe. Right. Good there. Good there. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Get in your hole. <sighs> well, the next piece to go on is the stair nosing that'll go right into this tongue. But this piece here has to be shimmed up. This is not the same height as the subfloor. All right, one thing I don't like about this is even though you've got enough nails to continue on, it cuts you off. So I'm putting in some 16 gauges as a placeholder because I got enough nails to finish the job. <laughs> the uh, trim in here is a little on the rough side. No idea what I hit with this blade. That thing is messed up. Missing teeth. Well, I got a few more cuts to go. I'll have to grab another one. Another $4,000 down the drain.